This is a video tutorial on how to archive your DVDs onto your computer using two programs. The first one is DVD Decryptor. The second is Handbrake. First off, you want to get DVD Decryptor. Just Google it and it should be the first result. And then just download this file here. Then you want to get Handbrake. Unless you know what you're doing, and if you did know what you're doing, you probably wouldn't be looking at this tutorial, you should get the GUI version. Most of you will probably be using Windows. 2000 XP and Vista are supported. I'm using Vista X64 and it works just fine for me. Okay, now on to actually ripping. You want to have, of course, um, a DVD uh, drive on your computer and put a DVD in there obviously. Now load up DVD Decryptor it might take a couple of seconds and it will find the DVD that is currently in the drive. You can see it loading. It, it, in my case right now it's back to the future. You may encounter some um, random trouble uh, but uh, that is usually solved by choosing the region from a list that pops up. That's not the case right now. DVD decryptor may be listed as old. Oh, the, the last update was in 2005, but it works fine with newer DVDs as well. They suggest um, a newer program for, um, for Blu-ray drives and HD DVD, but... Um, but uh, I haven't been able to get it to work for me. I'm not sure where it is. Um, well, it's not here, but they do have a suggestion. Uh, you can look for that yourself on the DVD decryptor site. In here, you just want to simply um, choose the folder you want to rip it to. Right now, the, def the default is usually... Um, uh, your default drive, C or D drive. In this case, it chose to archive to D drive. I would rather archive it to. Um, let's see, uh, movies and stuff. DVD decryptor, I would just choose that and I'd make a new folder for it. And I would label that uh, back to the future. Or one or something like that. <laughs> because it takes a while to convert, I won't include um, the actual ripping. It will take a few minutes, depending on your uh, computer. My computer is pretty good, um, but it will still take about, I'm guessing, roughly a third of the length of the movie or so to decrypt. Okay, so once you've ripped that, yeah, just ignore that. Sometimes you get errors when you close it. Doesn't matter. Still works just fine. Then you want to get Handbrake. Open up. Allow. If you've got Vista, you're probably going to have to allow it. And you just have to wait for it to load up. should not take too long. I'm currently recording the screen so it will take a little longer for me. Right. There. So I'm loaded. There. Source. You want to choose source and DVD video TS folder. It also gives you the option to choose um, the actual DVD itself but I find that doesn't generally work which is why I have this um, this method tutorial. So just choose the video to TS folder. Since uh, I haven't yet ripped uh, the Back to the Future, I'm just going to show you a different one. Okay, Media Disc. Movies. DVD Decryptor. And let's just choose Indiana Jones 4. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It should not take too long to read the source. And there, 
It displays all the information, the length, the number of chapters, the total duration, and here you choose the destination. I've already got it here. You just choose whatever folder you want and type in whatever file name you want. There. You can choose from some default profiles here. I choose PS3 because I occasionally do try to watch videos on my PS3, but sometimes the compatibility is a bit iffy. But you can choose whichever you prefer. It's best to leave it mostly on defaults. You might want to change the average bit rate depending on um, on um, your uh, computer space and what you plan to do with the video. Um, you may want to do two pass encoding or you may want to do a target size. A lot of people seem to be pretty fine of around the 700 megabyte region so you can choose that. You also choose the audio subtitles you can just leave it on automatic or just select the specific one you want English 5 channel you can choose to also add English subtitles this for subtitles only option is for um, basically included subtitles by the um, filmmakers for translation of specific scenes only, like say you're watching an English language video and suddenly someone starts speaking Italian, uh, the, for, the first subtitles would display just that part, just the English subtitles or whatever language you, pr whatever language you choose as um, the um, subtitles. Alternatively, of course, you can leave it off and simply find the subtitles you want from a subtitle place like Subscene. So here, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And you can choose from a bunch of different languages. There's almost always at least one English sub for each. And at Subscene, the color on the language denotes uh, the quality. This color's good, this is alright, and red is bad quality, so you'd want to avoid red, but there's usually multiple different sub, and there's always at least one, it seems, sub rip for um, the DVD itself, so you just choose one that seems about right. See, there, DVD rip, okay, that's Farsi, I don't speak Farsi, uh, DVD rip, English, English, DVD rip, there we go. That would probably be just fine. Alright, but that's uh, something you're sp you choose yourself, personal preference. And then you just simply press start. And uh, a command line interface will pop up. And it will say it's starting. It will be very slow. For my computer... It takes roughly um, half the length to the full length of the movie to finally finish. Ah, it's going rather slow in this case, so it will take a long time, five hours. But the reason why it's going this slow is because currently I am recording the screen. It will go a lot slower on average, depending on your computer. For me, the average is around 24 frames per second, which is roughly the full length of the movie it will take to convert. I'm just going to close that because I've already done that. Well, there you have it. That's all you need to know about um, archiving your video in an easily playable format. Yes, there was an error, but that's because I closed it on its own when it was supposed to be doing that. I will show you the quality of a uh, video. There you see it's all here. There it is there. Of course I didn't get very far on it. So I'm just going to delete that. Well there you have it. There's the two main steps. Using two different programs. To archive your DVD. Onto your computer. So you don't need. 
to have the DVD on hand all the time. Well, have fun.